8.15, welcome back to Good Day Columbia. The tailgate, just who left in the season? Hard to believe, but you always want to, uh, you know, inspire your guests with your creativity and fun. So we invite my favorite mixologist in the entire city of Columbia, Miss Liz Dickerson from Ben Arnold Distributors, Lauren Sarver from uh, Budweiser of Columbia. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Now, I've asked you always to come in and theme some cocktails for us. Yes. What have you done? Because you know, you, you do know that Saturday is like the breakfast tailgate, so I'm hoping it's exactly. something. Exactly. Yeah, okay, let's exactly. go. Exactly. Uh, okay, so we've got a manmosa for you this morning. Manmosa! Man I like the sound of that. <laughs> so we've got Stella Artois. Okay. Um, and then... How do you say that again? Artois? Artois. I usually say Stella because I, I don't know how to speak French. Go on. <laughs> you don't need to. It's okay. Stella works. All right. Um, you get to drink it out of the beautiful Stella Oh, chalice. look at this. Beautiful. Yes. All right, so just, what is it? Just orange juice and orange Stella? Orange juice and Stella. That's it. <laughs> You just replace so the difficult. champagne with the Stella. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's, it's a man mosa. That works. Stella was originally brewed for Christmas time too, so it's a it's holiday. Beer. I did too. not know that. All right, let's get this a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now that's an interesting flavor. I like that. I like that. It cuts down the carbonation a bit too. The carbonation gets me all the time with beer, but all right. Oh. What else you got? All right. Um, oh, we've good. also got woodchuck. We're gonna make a champagne woody. A champagne woody. Guys, directions, by the way, are at watch.com for the yes. champagne woody. All right, walk us through this. All right, um, very similar. We're just going to, instead of the Stella, we're going to use the woodchuck. Okay. So you get a little bit of a different oh, so flavor, same kind a little of bit feel. more sweet. Yeah. All right. Um, a little different of, of a take on a mimosa. That is very cool. Very tasty. What's this going to be a flavor like? You, which uh, which well, side are we using? Just the this regular? This is the amber, so okay. you, it's kind of apple, orange juice. Now that I like. Yeah? That I can get behind. I like that a lot. All right, what else you got? Um, we've also got some um, Bloody Mary cocktails. Bloody Ooh. Mary cocktails. Yeah, oh, we're going to do this way? Well, I'll tell you what, before we get to that then, we're going to go ahead and come back for this then. Okay. Come okay. back for this. So these are very, right. very easy to do. They are. I love it. Drink yeah. is right there. Some fun, of course. Please, please drink responsibly uh, if you were going to partake, guys. We're going to come back and have some more of this. This is the fun side of the house. I love Budweiser, <laughs> Columbia, some great products, some flagship IPA, and other great stuff to always bring in. So, stick around. we got a lot more Good Day Columbia on the way. Stay with me. Welcome back to Good Day Columbia. Continuing with our rather spirited spirits here of the day, getting ready for your tailgate. Only two left, my friends, here to impress your friends. You can do that. Elise from Ben Arnold Distributors and Budweiser of Columbia sharing some, some rather fun, unique ways to celebrate what is assuredly to be another Gamecock victory. Lauren Sarver, Budweiser, you see you got a couple of cans over here. What do you got? Yeah, I brought a lot of different cans. Um, perfect for tailgating. You don't have to worry about breaking bottles. Right. It's actually a lot better for the environment to drink beer out of the can as well. Um, there you go. It takes up less room. I'm so um, Easier to travel with. Mm -hmm. Smaller space in your cooler. Nice. It's always a good thing. Um, and also, it's better for the beer. You get a more fresh See, that flavor. I didn't know. That I did not yeah, know. All right, so what kind of unique things can we do that maybe instead of just the old Bud Light, which is always a good choice, but you put other a good things choice. besides um, Bud Light. I brought Red Hair, which is from Marietta, Georgia. Okay. Um, three different flavors from them. They've got the Long Day Lager, the Watership Brown Ale. And Watership Brown. Yes. As and Watership Down, a good movie back in the day. Okay. I don't see. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, and then Gangway IPA. And something really neat to do is you can either do... Um, an IPA, or you can even use Bud Light if you want, if that's right. what you buy the most. And you can make that into a Bloody Mary. A Bloody Mary. Yes. Let's do that. All right. Let's do that. So I suppose you got to supply the Bloody Mary mix over here. Yes, and Very we good. actually have um, uh, Willie's Hog Dust, which is local. Okay. This guy is um, Willie's Hog out of Dust. Sumter, and I believe that um, the Hog Dust was originally a uh, rub. Okay. And then he's actually turned that rub into Bloody Mary mix. They're original, Not and there's a spicy. Bad. Get it at Greens, and it's all natural, gluten free. He buys everything oh, from wow. local farms. Now this is alcohol free, right? The actual mix yeah, itself. Yeah, the okay. mix is alcohol free. Okay. So if you want to just, um, yeah, top the beer with a little bit of that. That is interesting. That almost looks more like a hangover cure than a, than a cocktail. I know. Add, add a lie. little pickle juice. And <laughs> Does you that can work? add that. You can yeah. also add your American Harvest to that as interesting. well. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That is an interesting mix. I don't mind the way it smells. Actually, cool. Very good. Okay. Good. St always good stuff from Budweiser. What have you got going on? Well, we have got a couple different um, kind of Gamecock themed. One I like to call, um, and these are all going to be kind of based around Bloody Marys. Okay, because it is, of course, the breakfast tailgate on Saturday. So um, I love to call this one the Out for Blood. Out for Blood. Because we can use either Tanteo, which is a jalapeno infused tequila, mm -hmm. um, silver tequila. You heard that right, by the way, jalapeno infused. Aged I tried some. with, it's, uh, it's yeah, with fresh. Fresh jalapenos, so okay. it's just it, it just makes Ooh. that perfect spicy. <laughs> you, can, you pop the top I off, know. you can. I bet Janet can smell it way over there at the desk. My it's gosh, it's fantastic. So there Ooh. is, and I've actually pre-poured this. So there is the tequila option if you want. Ooh, a, that's good. Wow. 
And if you want a spicy vodka option, right. I've got the Hangar One um, Chipotle. And uh, Hangar One is distilled uh, in an airplane hangar in San Francisco. Now, that's kind of cool. Being married to a pilot, I obviously think that's kind of cool. There's so nothing wrong with that. As long, and, um, as long as it's not the pilots that are flying the plane or taste testing, as long as that's the case. No, no, absolutely mm. not. Okay, very good. Uh, American Harvest. I love American Harvest. My new favorite vodka, without a doubt. So a that doubt. is just your your typical um, great Bloody Mary mm -hmm. vodka. Obviously, again, we love it. it. Keeps all the money here in the United States, and right. it's all sustainable. Um, and then you can do your Bloody Maria with Jose Cuervo Silver. So Bloody Maria, not a Bloody Mary. Bloody Marias, Bloody Marys, and just. I know that you're sometimes not a Bloody Mary drinker. <laughs> Good so, old fashioned scotch. Um, this is a single malt Highland Scotch whiskey, 18 years finished in sherry casks. It, it never goes out of style, my friend. So, mm. Oh, that is so good. How much, what's the price on that? Um, the price on this is about 70 a bottle. So for an 18 year finished in sherry cask, it's a really, really great deal. That's great flavor. They nice are finish on that too. That's very, really, really good. Yeah, they, they want quality of consumer as opposed right. to quantity. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so fun options. You can do the stuff if you want to plan something for your, for of course, your adult tailgate. Please, please, please drink responsibly if you're going to partake. But if you are, make it fun. It's a tailgate for goodness sake. And you can do the theme stuff. And it is going to be the breakfast tailgate, which means eggs and throw some Bloody Mary mix. Kegs and eggs. Kegs and eggs. Don. Lauren yeah. Sharper, Budweiser of Columbia. Liz Dickerson, Ben Arnold Distributors right here in Columbia. Ladies, as always, thank you for coming in. By the way, the recipes are at watch.com right now. If you want to just come down and get what you got to get and do a little mixing, you can do it. And as I always say, my friends, mix well. Stay with us. Good day, Colby. Stay right back.